Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to the latest episode of our entertainment show. As you know, uh, each week on the section three of our show, we premiere our new TV series or movie that is debuting in Ireland and the UK this month, uh, particularly in Ireland. And up for discussion this week, uh, it's a movie that's debuting Friday, January the 20th, out in cinemas nationwide in Ireland. It's called uh, Bermuda Island. It uh, starts off with a notorious sort of... Um, wanted a uh, criminal uh, on the run gets captured uh, Diego Montalan and he's sort of being brought away in this sort of uh, a normal dare I say plane sort of thing being escorted by FBI agents but the sort of plane uh, goes down within the Bermuda sort of triangle and lo and behold they get washed up in this uh, Bermuda island where they meet uh, unnatural dare I say creatures uh, the film stars uh, Tom Sizemore uh, Noah Guidulami, uh, John Wells, and our special guest this evening playing the role of Caroline, the one and only Sarah French. And uh, Sarah, a, a sort of uh, <laughs> delighted, first of all, actually, to talk to you on air this evening. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. And I suppose, Sarah, in terms of this movie, it starts us off as dare I say, we, we think we're on to an action sort of a, a thriller, a, a type of a, a con air, but uh, lo and behold, so, soon we find out that it's more a mixture of lost and uh, resident evil, dare I say, put together. Yeah, there's something more deadly on the island. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Sarah, in terms of uh, Bermuda Island, in terms of that, was it the normal audition process for you? How did you get involved in this uh, sort of uh, project? Were you recommended uh, for the role? Actually, I've been friends with the filmmakers for a long time. I've done a lot of other films with them. So they came to me with this script. So when I read this script, I was like, you know, I've never done a film that has like this big plane crash and you've stranded on the island. And I'm a huge fan of Lost and Survivor. So right away, I was like, okay, this is a movie I need to do to add to my repertoire of films because I've never done anything like this before. Um, and we shot uh, in the beautiful um, Puerto Rico. And mostly we shot some in Puerto Rico and then some on an island uh, via Kez right off of Puerto Rico. So that was very exciting. So I, I definitely wanted to be a part of this because of all of that and working with people that I love to work with and um, it was it was quite the adventure, that's for sure. And uh, Sarah, can you tell us a bit about your character, Caroline? What sort of role does she play in the film? Yeah, so I play Carolyn. Um, I'm on a, I'm on a vacation with my girlfriends, and you know, to get away from the everyday hustle and bustle of life. Unfortunately, we don't end up where we were planning on going. Um, when we're on the plane, it catches really bad turbulence and we get into a storm and the plane crashes into the ocean. So we wake up on this deserted, mysterious island and we have to kind of, all, all the survivors kind of just have to work together to figure things out because if we're not working together, we're not gonna be able to survive. So um, Carolyn, she's very, uh, she doesn't take BS from anyone. Uh, she's very, uh, I would say she, she took the bull by the horns in this film and tried to devise a plan on what they can do uh, to survive. And uh, Damon, a very nice gentleman she met on the plane, played by Victor Gelsimino, um, they devise a plan on what to do. Not everybody likes that plan. So there's a lot of turmoil within the group, but what they don't realize is there's something more deadly on the island. And if they don't work together, they're not gonna survive. And uh, obviously, the the we mentioned some of your castmates there in terms of uh, the sort of cast, but I suppose Noel Gigalami, uh, a sort of big name uh, to be attached to this sort of uh, production, being in an awful lot of uh, Hollywood sort of movies, uh, premieres uh, in terms of uh, big working with big actors. What was it like working around uh, Noel? And uh, was he sort of very down to earth guy? Was he very sort of uh, camaraderie in terms of the group? Yeah, he was he was so nice and down to earth. We didn't have any one on one scenes together. We did shoot on the same day, but they were just different blocks, different scenes. And that happens all the time. Um, but from what I've seen, he was really nice, down to earth. 
he talked to everybody and you know it's, it's just it's about creating art and having a good time doing it because if you're not having good a good time you're not enjoying yourself and you're dramatic then what's the point of being here what's the point of doing this so um he was super cool um yeah and i gotta say victor was super great to work with he you know we have, we had a lot of most of my scenes were with victor and john wells john wells is also in the film and he is so great i've known john for many years um and actually i never met him in person uh we knew each other online and we would just support each other and each other's work um he was so great to work with we had so much in common and uh you know it was like it was like a wonderful island film family because we were all together on this beautiful island we were shooting for i would i think it was like two and a half weeks um so it was just amazing and i could do a whole show just talking about puerto rico and Vieques island because that place uh, like a, a, a piece of my heart was left there because i, I just loved it so much and I could ramble on and on, but um, that's why I love doing what I do because it give it gives you the option to go to so many different places that you normally wouldn't go to, and you normally wouldn't like have the opportunity to go. So um, I'm very very grateful I was able to do this film. And Sarah, uh, speaking about the horror and the special effects, uh, well, in terms of the costume, was a green screen used quite a bit in terms of, or was the was the costumes were sort of detail uh, very much to the design orientated, and uh, in terms of wardrobe for the the horror sequence as well, was there a good lot of stunt people done, or did the actors participate in their own sort of? Uh, Dead, dead sequences or yeah i mean or... it's 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 a very action-packed film um and the 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 wardrobe was great i mean the monsters look so real um and you know i thought they did a really good job and it's crazy because on this island it's like 80 degrees during the day and maybe like 75 at night but it was really actually i think it was hotter than that um so it's really hot it's and it's really sticky. So they're, so like the poor guys under the costumes were just dying, but they did such a great job. They were such troopers. Um, and luckily I didn't get too doused in blood. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm, I'm pretty used to that. But when you're in the sticky weather and you're outdoors, you're in the sand and it's just, ah, but I love it. That's why I do this. I love it. Um, <laughs> no complaints here. But yeah, it's it's it was all really well done. It's all practical effects. We did no green screen, as far as I know, um, as far as the monsters or anything. So there, it, it was all it was all practical. And I'm sort of intrigued uh, in terms of the shooting. You mentioned shooting on a, an island in sort of Puerto Rico. In terms of uh, in between takes and when you're done for the day, were you transported uh, back on shore to a nearby hotel that was within two or three miles of this sort of island? And how did you get out to the island each day? Did we get shipped out by boat or ferry or? Yeah, when we first, um, when we first, so with Puerto Rico, they fly you in and then it, you basically get, uh, you take a ferry to Vieques. So the Vieques Island's right off of the Puerto Rico um, island. And um, so they ferry you and you just stay there the whole time. Uh, Vieques was great. The, the people that live there are so nice. Um, and it's actually funny, we met a lot of the townspeople and a lot of the townspeople that live there and that own businesses, they actually told us that they went to Vieques for a vacation and never left. Like they loved it that much. And I think that is so cool. Um, but as far as where we stayed, um, actually it was within walking distance, like my where I was staying was within walking distance to a uh, set. So I would just, when I'm done for the day, I just walk back to the, you know, the, the little, motel area that we were in and it was really easy really um nice and there was one shooting day you'll see in the film where there's like this big beautiful um waterfall that was on that was in puerto rico so we had to spend a whole day actually well that was like a company moved to puerto rico the last few days of that shoot um we went to stayed in puerto rico and we shot 
that day at the waterfall. It was just amazing. So yeah, it was all very easy. And in terms of the effects, in terms of the sort of a uh, plane crash, in terms of that, uh, in terms of witnessing uh, that sort of thing, obviously that's a, a big sort of stunt sort of uh, operation as well. But that sort of uh, exciting in one way, how that sort of played out, how were we able to bring that sort of realism to that sort of scene? Yeah, that was interesting. We shot the plane stuff, which is the, in the beginning of the movie, the first half um, or the first quarter. Uh, that was done in LA at a studio. And um, so they have this plane set up in the studio, which is really cool. So it was just kind of scary being in that situation because me as an actor, like I kind of just immerse myself into whatever situation I'm put in um, and immerse myself in that character that I really put myself in that situation. And it can be very stressful and scary because I was like, I fly a lot and I travel a lot because I love it and and for work and everything. And I was like, God, if this really happened, I don't even know what I would do in that situation. But um, it was very scary. And but as far as like the special effects and stuff, that was there's some, you know, the plane flying into the ocean. They show some of that. But we use some actual like I think it was plane degree they brought in or some something. Um, so there were some floating, like real floating in the ocean. And it was funny, like at night, because when the plane crashes, it, it shows, well, I don't want to give everything away, but let's just say there's a scene where I pop out of the water and because I, I wake up and I'm floating in this water and we took a boat, just a handful of us took a boat out kind of far away from the, the shore at night in this tropical water, God knows what's in there. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking the worst because I'm floating in there with a few dead bodies around me. But um, our amazing uh, uh, our amazing team uh, of stunt people were the bodies floating around. So I felt they kept me safe. Our DP, uh, Michael Sue, he, I mean, everyone just made sure I was okay and, you know, um, that there was nothing really dangerous around, so. And Sarah, I know 2023 is a busy time for you as well. You have an awful lot of other sort of uh, productions in the works that might be hitting our screens here in Ireland and the UK and TVs and movies. I, I know some things are under wraps, but you might be, enlighten, be able to enlighten us maybe about one or two projects that might be coming our way. Yes, yeah, so um, there's a film called, uh, that I actually, shot right before I shot Bermuda Island called Space Wars Quest for the Deep Star. It's like a, a action packed space adventure film. Um, we shot that literally and the same team that shot that also shot Bermuda Island. So the day we wrapped Space Wars, I we all flew out that night to Puerto Rico for the next film. It was crazy. But um, that one should be coming out this spring. Uh, I'm very excited about that. And um, also, uh, Joe Netter, Marcel Walls, and I created a new production company. And we just uh, finished our very first film under our new production company. That one's called That's a Wrap. Um, it's a giallo slasher that takes place in a film studio. And it has to do a lot with, uh, you know, making independent films and stuff like that. So we're very oh, well. excited about that. That should be hopefully coming out later this year. We'll see. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for Space Wars um, and Bermuda Island coming out next Friday, one week from today. Woo! And, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the works. I'm always working. I'm always promoting online. Definitely check out um, my Instagram, Facebook. And yeah, very excited for 2023 and what it has in store for us. And I suppose, Sarah, last two questions for you. I know I was speaking to you on air uh, you mentioned about your desire to visit Ireland in the near future. Obviously, COVID yes. might, might have uh, sort of ruined those plans in the last few years, but uh, it's definitely one on the book of this for you. A hundred percent. I've been to Europe a few times, and but I've mostly visited uh, like Sweden, Norway, Germany. I've been to a few times, uh, Italy, all that. But Ireland and the UK, I've never been to, and it's definitely a place I want to visit for sure. 
And finally, Sarah French, for the final 30 seconds, I might turn it over to you. You might enlighten all our viewers, all our listeners, why they should get out uh, uh, their cars, uh, speak with their two feet, uh, get out of their tractors, automobiles, <laughs> bicycles, whatever mode of transport that takes them into the, the, the cinema, put their feet up on the recliner seat, uh, what with the ball teasers, the popcorn and the shakes, and watch <laughs> Bermuda Island and What's in store for them? Mystery, murder, mayhem. <laughs> Definitely check out Bermuda Island. It's fun. It's action packed. There's monsters. I mean, you name it. Everything happens. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and this interview has been an awful lot of fun uh, speaking <laughs> to you this evening. Uh, Sarah French, awful, bubbly, enthusiastic and full of life. Uh, we wish you all the best uh, with uh, Bermuda Island. Hopefully it's a fantastic success. Uh, looking forward to other productions in the works. Uh, hopefully the co company will be a big success for you. Thanks for sharing your time. Remember, Bermuda Island out Friday, uh, January uh, the 20th. It will star Sarah French alongside John Wells, Tom Sizemore and Noel Legissimo. Uh, but for the moment, Sarah, stay safe, take care and God bless. Thank you.